It's Tuesday night and it's time for the Fat Pigeon live session. Yes, and tonight we have got the soulful voice of the one and only Russell Morgan. You would come and join us here at the High Perch. That's it. We've got a microphone for you and everything. I mean, it is right. a High Perch. What else could you ask for, really? <laughs> Great. So, is it Russell or Russ? Or... Uh, either Russ. Russ, Russell, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we're quite lazy over here, you know. We so are. We don't yeah, have to no, make no, the effort. I'm Absolutely. mother called Russell, generally speaking. Sure. Okay, right. So, so yeah. is that usually when you get a bollocking? Or... <laughs> Most of the time. Yeah, okay. Good. Fair That's enough. Well, as she's going to be li obviously watching tonight. Sorry, but... Sorry Mum. It's Russell. <laughs> yeah. And it's I, Russell. I don't live with us. I call him Russell, yeah. Yeah. Uh, new album out in May. That's right, yeah, uh, second one. Uh, released next week. Begin that's, Simple. That's right, yeah. Is that a bit of advice for new songwriters? It, it is what? for me, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, um, it, seemed, it seemed the most uh, appropriate thing to call the album, to be honest, with all the tracks. And uh, often simple ideas seem to make the best things, basically, in terms of sound and, you know, the, the landscapes, the thing that you're trying to create musically. So it seemed to be the right thing. 
a number of tracks on this one then? Yeah, I think there's 11 on it. Um, 11, so value the... for money. I hope so, yeah. I hope people enjoy it, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we, we went to, um, we recorded the album last year in Vienna and um, I got to work with uh, a friend as well, Filippo Gantani, who's the producer on it. And uh, we spent a week in the studio, doing a fantastic time in Vienna and uh, living living at, at his house with his beautiful uh, partner and the kids. It was a fantastic opportunity. So I'm really lucky. When are we going again? <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I think we ought to do, well, yeah. uh, Mr. Producer, wherever you are. Yeah, uh, Pigeon you know, live. Yeah. Uh, Feature in Vienna. Vienna? Yeah. 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 You better tell them we're coming now, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I will do. I'm yeah. not going to tell you what the producer just said. <laughs> there you go. Just smile and look happy. <laughs> and uh, I was going to say, a uh, number of albums that you've recorded. So it's, it's two official ones. Uh, yeah. There's been lots of uh, kind of dem lots of demo tracks put out there um, over the years, and, and um, but proper stuff. Yeah, there's been two. Uh, the first album was uh, more built up, more production, more drums, more stuff mm -hmm. like that, um, which is called Surrender, and uh, the which I'll play one of the, uh, the tracks off that. As we're well. gonna we're gonna hear that. Right? Yeah, yeah, the last yeah. track that I play, mm -hmm. and um, I play something off the new album as well. Um, and the new stuff's more, I suppose, singer songwriter that kind of thing. There's some really cool percussion elements on it. It's a bit more jazzy. Mm -hmm. um, with folk elements brought in some blues, soul edges. So it touches all the things I like in there. And um, you know, the producer was absolutely fantastic in understanding and, uh, and suggesting great ideas and creating a new, a new way of working with what we were trying to achieve with it. So it's brought out some really good stuff. Got to think out the box a bit musically, yeah. which is yeah, so yeah. much fun yeah. to do. Yeah. And so we're lucky to have the opportunity to do it. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, you've already sort of talk, obviously talked to us about your influences musically, yeah. uh, and we always, well, sometimes ask this question, and it can be a bit of a rubbish question: uh, Who are your influences? But before then, I happen to notice when I was doing my Copious research. Yeah. Here, that, uh, copious that research. someone has compared you, and this is like, this is it, it, interesting. This is presumably your voice, I don't know, perhaps your guitar playing as well. But uh, Richie Havens, uh, Joe Cocker, John Martin, Nick Drake. Well, they're good things to be compared to, aren't they? They are. Yeah, but you see, so, if, 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 for so. those of people out there who like to categorise music, you won't put them in the same sentence, would you? Mm. And yet, we've just listened to you. And I see what that means. Yeah, it's incredible it's, you know, it works, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. But how did it all start? I mean, what was the music um, that got you going? So I've always been, I've always been um, playing music since I was 13. Yeah. You know, probably since 12, uh, when I started to play trombone and gave that up. And um, I was the tuba originally. I wanted to play the biggest thing, the tuba. <laughs> but you have to walk back and two from school, that, so it's soon the... Soon what, playing it, you mean? Yeah, yeah playing it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Taking people out as you go yeah, on the road, yeah. So yeah. gave yeah. that up yeah. and uh, then got into guitars and moody music and got into a lot of um, kind of the, the Soundgarden stuff and, you know, grunge. that kind of thing. Yeah. Grunge from they were all the way from... band at the time. I Seattle, absolutely loved yeah. them. Um, yeah. So they're a big influence on me. And then when I went to college, it was more about jazz music, John Coltrane thing, and a whole whole stuff, you know, new music arrived. And I got, you know, I got a great education, yeah. you know, from that rather than being sort of small-minded about things. Sure. You know, I've got yeah. a great education in music. Yeah. So you, you get to pick from everything, really, and, and um, you know, and you like ideas, you like things, you work with them, you know, that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. So compared to that stuff, it's just incredible, really. It's, you know, Fantastic, yeah. Um, Brilliant. Yeah, you've just gone everywhere musically, haven't you? Well, uh, yeah. And places I, to go yet, probably. I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. yeah. Um, you know, I, I can't do as much as I like to these days. Um, um, a lot older, but um, <laughs> coming here was, was a fantastic thing to do, to be on a special event, so... Uh, and, uh, well, just to add to that, though, I mean, apparently Dave reckons the slums are a bit longer. Yeah, oh, this is Dave, Dave's, Dave's been playing with yeah. uh, Russell today. Yeah, so let's have a big round great. of applause for Dave. Come on, yeah. on the bass there. Fantastic. Dave. Yeah. So he's been... Uh, Sorry, he's been complaining about the length of your songs, obviously. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, that, that's always been a bit of a problem, because if, if... I don't, I don't know whether I write... I don't, I don't write songs for people to listen to while they're not, but I, I sit there and play music because I enjoy it. I get told that the songs that I'm, I'm making should be stripped back a bit. They're a bit too long. Yeah. So, I, you know, Dave's had a hand in that, as, as well as a few other people have as well. So, your songs are a bit long, aren't they? Uh, yeah. Well, I, <laughs> <laughs> they're so, your songs. But, well, this is it. And, I, yeah. and when we try to get them to kind of... Instead of a two-and-a-half-hour album, trying to release it down to a bit, sm it, you know, a bit smaller, basically. If I could just say, we do have to finish before midnight, though. Oh, we'll, we'll do, shorten yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are the albums, so you'll yeah. be fine. Yeah. Thanks, and we will be hearing some more. So, yep. Russell Morgan, ladies Thank and gentlemen. Everyone. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Fantastic.
Uh, yeah, we'll be having um, a few more from you very shortly. Yep, as promised. But as before promised. that, pigeon fanciers, you've guessed it. It's time for this week's Fat Pigeon Live quiz question. Whoa! Thank you. Press the floor, manager, ladies and gentlemen. The man with the golden grimace. It's, it's an interesting question. Good. Mm. I think. Are you going to share it with us at all? Do yeah. you think I should? I think you should, yeah. yeah. Bob Dylan. Oh. Better known to his parents as Robert Zimmerman. Shot the folk world in 1965 at the Newport Folk Festival by playing part of a set with a rock band. Oh, no, come on. Well, that was two of you. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think the uh, anyway, audience is divided yeah, there. Yeah, they are a bit, yeah. Mm. Uh, legend has it that folky stick in the mud, though, Pete Seeger attempted to unplug Dylan by using an axe on the mains cable. Mm. If this was true, what make of axe would Bob Seeger have used? <laughs> and why? Complete answers only, please. Thank you. And, uh, and, and no, it's not a trick not question. Trick. No, it's not. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and of course, as always, if you want to enter this uh, competition, and that's an easy one, obviously, uh, then uh, all you have to do is put uh, your answers where the comments go below the YouTube video recording. What you are probably watching at this very moment. Yes, marvellous. <laughs> but not as marvellous as Mr. Russell Morgan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is uh, off the new album, which is out next week. Uh, this is called You Don't Feel. It's 
so hard to understand when you don't feel it takes a great deal of work to make it so real it's so hard to song is uh, from the first album Surrender it's called Move These Mountains Goes, goes. 
goes, goes like this Lifetimes are changing World or without you And it burns, it burns, burns all night Knowing I'm powerless to do anything about this Can't move these mountains And it turns, turns, turns once more Eating all the words that spatter out Together in the pools And it turns and turns, turns once more Drawing your isolation so near Can't move these mountains to Russell and Dave, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, whoa. And that's all for this week, Pigeon Fanciers. Uh, so it's goodbye from Hulk. And it's goodbye from Duffy. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs>